hello beautiful people i welcome you back to my channel this is okay and i'm here and this is my youtube channel so in this video i'll be talking about the law of attraction i don't know whether you've heard it before i don't know if this is your first time but if this is your first time i really recommend that you get books about the law of attraction and read there are lots of books out there the law of attraction works as the law of gravity you see this thing when i throw it in the air it won't stay there it will definitely calm down and that is the law of gravity the law of attraction simply means that like attracts like so for instance if you bring a magnet closer to a metal the magnet will definitely attract the metal scientists make us understand that our body vibrates like an energy and so when you are happy your body vibrates with the happy genes when you are sad your body vibrates with the sadness genes and you realize that whatever is vibrating inside you your body attracts it to you like a magnet will attract a pin so i want to explain to you what the law of attraction is and how you can use it to better your life i have really used it and it has really helped me in many ways in the course of the video i'm going to tell you some ways that the law of attraction has helped me and how you can use it to help you so let's get right into it So have you ever thought of something that you somebody came to your mind you thought of the person for a long period of time and then before you realize the person is either calling your phone or the person has shown up and you go like hey who do you dinamo as Ghanaians will say in tree have you ever seen a situation or found yourself in a situation where it looks like you have it looks like you have been in this in that situation before it looks like you have experienced whatever you were experiencing at that time yes that is the law of attraction in the bible job said something that the thing i feared most happened to me and that got me thinking it means that job was thinking of what if i lose everything what if one day i wake up and then i've lost everything what if what if what if and the things he feared most happened to them because he was most at times focusing on that thing that is an example of law of attraction so most of the time the things that happens to us we attract it to ourselves when you sit down and focus on the negative you realize that you are always attracting the negative to you when you sit down and focus on the positive you realize that, that you are always attracting the positive to you i'll start with something we call confirmation most of the times we confirm things that we believe in so i'll post a video on tiktok and the people will come under the comment section you see a lot of people are oh i agree with you oh this is very true and then some people will also come and tell you no this is not true i don't agree with you and it's okay because most of the time we agree or we confirm things that we believe is true so i remember when my husband said he wants to buy a benz i had never paid attention to the benz logo so he showed me oh i want to buy a benz and then we were looking at benzes and other things then i started paying attention to the benz logo all of a sudden i realized that when i go to town i will see cars with the benz logo i had never focused or i had never paid attention to the fact that this printer bus that runs around had the logo in front of it it was only when we decided to buy a benz and then i started focusing on the benz logo that when i go out i realized that oh so this logo is in the streets and then i never saw it and that is the law of attraction so sometimes the things that you focus on you realize that those are the things that you are seeing so i always tell my wife so i tell couple that in a relationship what are you focusing on what are you paying attention to in your relationship if you always want to pay attention to the negatives my dear you will always be attracting the negatives to you if you always pay attention to the things that are not going well you will always be attracting the things that are not going well with to you so the first point is that let's pay attention to the things that we want in our lives let's focus on the things that we want to happen in our lives and those are the things that nature will attract it to us the next thing is that what do you give your energy to what are the things you give your energy to if for instance things are not going well let me give you an example you come from the shop and then you didn't get enough sales at the shop and then your partner asks you how was work today oh today we didn't sell anything oh today sales was bad and then you sit down and you think to how the sales was bad and then when are things going to work for me when am i going to do this when am i how and then it has become your national anthem oh when i said the entire day oh as for these days then sales are bad oh as for these days you realize that you are giving all your energy to the negative things and so if care is not taken so you change that energy so you start giving your energy to the positive that way oh, it was good oh it is well 
and then you focus on it being well my dear if guy is not taking you might be attracting the sales are not good the sales are not good for a very long period of time so what you give your energy to is what it attracts to you the next thing i want to tell you is that my dear you have to feed your mind with positive things what books are you reading what what movies are you watching what videos are you watching the most social media platforms that are working as your mind when you go to tiktok for instance and then you you want to watch movies tiktok algorithm work in such a way that it will give you the things that they see you interested in so when you want to watch motivational movies motivational videos on tiktok tiktok has seen that oh whenever you see a motivational video you watch it till the end and so whenever you go to your for you page you might see that all the videos that they are recommending to you are motivational videos and that is how your mind works if you feed your mind with positive things my dear you you you'll be positive in your life so if you feed your mind with negative things be very intentional about the things you feed your mind with be very intentional about the things the, the books you read the songs you listen to it's got to a time me i stopped listening to the news because i realized that whenever i i i put on my radio i put on my tv and i tend to listen to the news it is all about negatives this thing that this person did that this person did that i'm robert's attack this person and so it was bringing fear to me when i am going out i am afraid when i am sleeping i am afraid when i hear from me i am afraid so i stopped listening to the news because it was making my life full of fear so you have to be intentional about what you watch what you listen to and don't say when i don't watch anything i don't get anything no when you stop also feeding your mind with positive things or when you stop feeding your mind with nothing at all it's like we have a land you decide not to sow anything on the land you realize that weeds will come and occupy the land you don't feed your mind with positive things weeds will come and take control of your mind unnecessary things will come and take control of your mind that is why i recommend that you if you want to be positive in life at a point in time the only person i was listening to was joel austin his podcast his books and then i came to steve harvey every morning when i am doing my morning exercise i go to podcast and i listen to steve harvey his morning motivation and i realize that it sets my day in motion it gives me a very positive day because in the course of the day i am i am motivating myself i am focusing on things that are good and things that are positive so what are you feeding your mind with what conversations are you having who are you talking to what songs are you listening what books are you reading the next thing is that what you tell yourself becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy so what are you telling yourself me i'm weak me i'm not intelligent me i'm not beautiful me in the morning do you have morning affirmation there is this affirmation that i've taught my children every morning before they go to school i say affirmation and then they respond i am smart i am beautiful i am intelligent i am the head and not the tail and i can do all things through christ who strengthens me and i want to put this thing in their mind even before they start their day so when they tell themselves that i am intelligent there is no way when they go to school a teacher will tell them you are not intelligent and they will believe the teacher when they tell themselves i am intelligent every day they will be motivated to work towards it and they will definitely become intelligent what do you tell yourself do you believe what people tell you about yourself you can't control what people tell you about yourself but you can control what you tell yourself so in the morning i read a book from joel austin and he said in the morning i tell myself that this is the day i am closer than i think and this thing has really helped me it has really 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 helped me so what do you tell yourself in the morning what do you tell yourself when you're about sleeping when things are not going well with you what do you tell yourself sometimes you have to motivate yourself you have to encourage yourself because the things that you tell yourself become a self-fulfilling prophecy and then the next thing is that wherever that you want to be whatever that you want to do you have to see yourself there when i started studying the law of attraction it occurred to me that i have used this thing even when i was a child i remember when i was a child i visited a mining company with my father and then when we were at the reception waiting for whoever my father went to see i was very young i remember i was around 10 to 11 years this lady came she was walking in heels and i saw how this lady was walking to her office she was just going up and down i looked at her and i told myself i will work in a mining company in future i told my dad daddy i want to be like this sister in future and then anytime throughout my education throughout my life i would just i still remember that picture vividly what i saw how she was like i don't know where she is now but i still remember her name i remember everything i saw and i aspired and i wanted to be there 
And then when I finished the university, I had the opportunity to do my national service in a mining company. So where do you see yourself? My dear, we attract things to ourselves. Even before I knew the man I was going to marry, I pictured and I had a vision. I created a movie in my head how I wanted my home to be like, how I wanted my family to be like, how I wanted my husband to treat me. And every night before I go to bed, I manifested, put myself in that situation. And then you can put it like, take it to me, take it till you make it. But I actually felt that this is it. I am, I am manifesting this at that time. And believe you me, everything that I dreamed of, every how that I wanted to be, it is now. You can use that strategy. In the night, 10 minutes to your bedtime, 15 minutes to your bedtime, when you are sleeping, what do you focus on? What do you create? What do you vision, do you vision yourself before you go to bed? See yourself where you want to be. And it brings me to vision board. You have to create a vision board for yourself. This year, I did a video about how I created my vision board. And after I did that, I created the same vision board on my phone because I realized that every time I am with my phone, so whenever I pick my phone, I see the things I want to do this year. I see where I want to be. I see the things I want to acquire for me. And it reminds me to work towards it. And then it, I believe that by the end of the year, I would have attracted those things to myself. So visions are very important. The Bible puts it this way. Ask, believe and you shall receive so you asking is you saying whatever you want believing is you putting yourself in the position where you believe that i am ready i am, in fact i am accepting this thing and then you will receive that is the law of attraction for you and then the last thing is that let your habits be in line with whatever you believe, whatever you want to achieve. If you want to be successful, you start behaving as a successful person. You can't visualize yourself to be successful and then you wake up and you are in the room and then you are, you are crying and then you are burying yourself in solo and you are asking yourself questions. No, successful people don't behave that way. So if you want to be successful, you, you do habits, you do things that are in line of you being successful. If you want to have a happy marriage, you, you align your habits, how you yourself you behave as a wife or a husband, how you yourself treat people. Let your habits align with whatever that you want to do. This is law of attraction. I really hope that I have, I have explained this to you. And I really hope that you, as, as much as possible, try and then manifest it in your life, in every aspect of your life, your marriage, your relationship, your children, your family life, your work, whatever, in every aspect of your life, you can use the law of attraction. Remember that you attract what you want for yourself and like attracts like whatever you focus on, you attract to yourself, whatever you want to be. See yourself there, believe, ask, work towards it and you shall surely achieve it. Thank you so much for watching this video to the end. Let me see in the comment section if you have any question for me and I'll try as much as possible to address it. If you enjoyed this video, then I think you are going to enjoy this particular video. Kindly click on the link and watch it. And please subscribe to my channel and click on the notification button if you haven't done that. And I'll see you in the next video. Nyamin